Welcome to my Gozo Travel Guide, where I'll be taking you through the island's best spots, from pristine beaches to historic landmarks. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video to help others discover the beauty of Gozo, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more travel adventures. Let's explore this incredible island together. Gozo, the second largest island in the Maltese archipelago, is famous for its stunning natural landscapes, rich history, and slower pace of life. It attracts visitors with its picturesque beaches, crystal clear waters, and unique attractions like the Gantia Temples, one of the world's oldest megalithic structures. The island is also known for its peaceful rural charm, making it a popular destination for those seeking tranquility and outdoor adventures. Getting to Gozo involves a scenic ferry ride from Malta's main island. The ferry departs from Sirkawa and takes about 25 minutes to reach the port of Mgar in Gozo, offering beautiful views of the Mediterranean along the way. Travelers can either bring their vehicle on the ferry or use public transportation upon arrival to explore the island. There are various ways to travel around Gozo, depending on your preferences. Renting a car is a convenient option for those who want flexibility, while scooters, ATVs, and bicycles offer a more adventurous way to explore the island. Public buses and boat tours are also popular for reaching key attractions, and each mode of transport provides a unique experience of Gozo's scenic beauty. Gozo is not a city but an island, and while certain towns like Victoria are walkable, the overall terrain can be hilly and spread out. Walking can be enjoyable for short distances within villages or along coastal trails, but to fully explore the island, other forms of transport such as buses or scooters are recommended. For those who enjoy hiking, Gozo offers several scenic routes that showcase its rugged landscapes. Gozo is an island full of fascinating sights, and a great starting point for exploration is the historic citadella in Victoria. This fortified city offers panoramic views of the island and houses the impressive Cathedral of the Assumption, known for its beautiful architecture and historical significance. Just a short walk away in the heart of Victoria is St. George's Basilica, a stunning Baroque church with a richly decorated interior. Heading northwest from Victoria, you'll reach Tar, Pinu, a serene basilica and pilgrimage site set against a backdrop of rolling hills and open countryside. A short drive further brings you to Dwedra Bay, where some of Gozo's most remarkable natural wonders are located. Here, you can visit the Inland Sea, a tranquil lagoon connected to the Mediterranean by a tunnel through the cliffs, and the Blue Hole, a world-famous dive site with crystal-clear waters. Nearby, you'll also find Fungus Rock, a unique islet historically known for its medicinal plants, standing proudly in the bay. From Dwedra, head north to the salt pans, ancient geometric formations where sea salt has been harvested for centuries, and a picturesque spot especially at sunset. Continuing northeast, you'll arrive at Ramla Bay, Gozo's largest beach, famed for its red golden sand and calm waters, perfect for a day of relaxation. Not far from here is Dalat Korat Bay, a small, peaceful cove with charming boathouses carved into the rocks, ideal for a quiet swim. Heading southwest from there, you can explore Slendy Bay, a beautiful seaside village surrounded by steep cliffs, perfect for a scenic walk or a meal by the water. Overlooking the bay is Slendy Tower, one of the oldest coastal defense towers in Gozo, offering stunning views over the area. Nearby, the Tar, Senk Cliffs provide breathtaking views of the rugged coastline and are a fantastic spot for hiking and birdwatching. Finally, end your journey at the secluded Imgar Ixini, a picturesque bay with clear waters perfect for snorkeling and a peaceful retreat from the more popular beaches. This route through Gozo allows visitors to experience both the island's rich history and its incredible natural beauty, making it a must-see destination. Gozo offers a wide array of activities that allow you to fully experience the island's charm and beauty. Begin by exploring the natural beauties of Gozo, from its lush countryside to the dramatic coastlines. Enjoy the pristine beaches such as Ramla Bay, known for its unique red golden sand and clear waters. While in Gozo, don't miss the chance to taste local Gozitan foods, like Eftira and Bejniat, which reflect the island's culinary traditions. For a unique adventure, take a boat tour to Camino Island, famous for the Blue Lagoon's turquoise waters, just a short trip from Gozo. Shopping lovers can explore vibrant markets, including the capital city Victoria, which offer a variety of products for shopping lovers. 
The island also offers the opportunity to enjoy the fantastic wonders of cliffs, such as those at Tar, Senk, which provide breathtaking views over the Mediterranean. For divers, Gozo is a paradise. Dive into the blue waters at sites like the Blue Hole and experience the vibrant marine life. As you explore the island, visit charming villages like Garb and Kala, where you can witness traditional life and local crafts. The island is also home to religious beauties, such as the impressive Tar, Pinu Basilica, a place of pilgrimage and spiritual significance. While wandering through Gozo, you can also observe the architectural structure of traditional stone farmhouses and Baroque churches, which reflect its rich history. Don't forget to take fantastic photos at the salt pans, where the geometric formations of the pans against the coastline create a stunning landscape. With so much to see and do, Gozo promises a blend of nature, culture, and adventure for every traveler. The best time to visit Gozo is during the spring and autumn months when the weather is mild, and the island is less crowded. April to June and September to October offer ideal conditions for outdoor activities like hiking, sightseeing, and swimming. Summer, while popular for beachgoers, can be quite hot, and winter is cooler with fewer tourists, making it a quieter experience. Gozo is generally more affordable than its larger neighbor, Malta, though prices can vary depending on the season and type of accommodation. Eating out, local transportation, and activities like sightseeing or boat tours are reasonably priced, especially compared to major European tourist destinations. However, during peak summer months, prices for accommodations and services can increase due to higher demand. The main area in Gozo is Victoria, also known as Rabat, which is the island's capital and cultural hub. It's home to the historic Citadella, a fortified city offering panoramic views of the island, and several museums, shops, and restaurants. Victoria serves as the central point for exploring Gozo, with buses and roads connecting to other towns and attractions. Gozo offers a variety of traditional Maltese dishes with a local twist, often featuring fresh, local ingredients. Some must-try dishes include F. Tira, a type of goes-eaten flatbread topped with tomatoes, olives, and anchovies, as well as rabbit stew and seafood dishes like lampuki, a local fish. Don't miss trying goes-eaten cheeselets, bechniet, a delicious goat or sheep cheese that is often served as an appetizer or snack. When visiting Gozo, you can find locally made products that make for unique souvenirs, such as handmade lace, which has a long tradition on the island. Another popular item is bejniet, the island's famous sheep or goat cheese, which can be purchased from markets and local farms. You'll also find local crafts, ceramics, and honey, all reflecting Gozo's artisanal culture. Gozo offers a range of accommodations, from charming farmhouses and boutique hotels to coastal resorts. Many visitors choose to stay in or near Victoria, the island's main town, for easy access to attractions, while others prefer quieter coastal villages like Slendy or Marsalforn. Whether you're looking for luxury or a more rustic experience, Gozo has a variety of options to suit different preferences and budgets. A stay of two to three days is ideal to fully experience Gozo's highlights, including its historical sites, beaches, and natural beauty. However, a day trip from Malta can also offer a satisfying glimpse of the island's charm if time is limited. For those who want to relax and explore at a slower pace, spending a week on the island allows for a more immersive experience. Gozo is considered a very safe destination with low crime rates, making it an excellent place for travelers of all types, including families and solo explorers. The locals are known for their hospitality, and the island has a relaxed, welcoming atmosphere. Visitors should still take standard precautions with personal belongings, as they would anywhere else. Gozo is definitely worth visiting, especially for travelers looking to experience a quieter, more traditional side of the Maltese Islands. With its rich history, stunning landscapes, and laid-back atmosphere, the island offers a unique blend of culture and natural beauty. Whether you're interested in exploring ancient sites, enjoying outdoor activities, or simply unwinding by the sea, Gozo has something for everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Gozo travel adventure. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends, 
and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting travel content. I can't wait to take you on the next journey, so stay tuned.